this video, I'm going to work out um, a couple of really straightforward, simple probability questions uh, that deal with OR. For an OR probability, we've got a couple formulas that we're going to take a look at. The probability of um, an event A or B occurring can be calculated by taking the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. All right, now, if A and B are mutually exclusive, that means that the two events um, cannot occur at the same time, so they would be classified as mutually exclusive events, then the probability of A or B can be found by the probability of A plus the probability of B. Okay, so with that background information, let's take a look at just drawing some cards here out of a, a traditional deck of cards. Let's say we want to do the probability of a three or a heart. Okay, so these are not mutually exclusive because I could draw a three, I could draw a heart, but I could also draw a three of hearts. Okay, so that tells me I've got to use this first formula here. So, um, thinking about a deck of cards, how many threes are in a deck of cards? That would be four. All right, so I'm going to have four out of the 52 cards that are in the deck. All right, plus the probability of the heart. Okay, well, there are 13 hearts in a deck of cards out of the 52 total. All right, and then minus. All right, so how many um, three of hearts are there in a deck? There is one, so that would be one over the 52 that's in there. All right, and then at this point, it would just be a matter of going ahead and, you know, probably grabbing your calculator, doing it in your head. Either way you go, 4 plus uh, 13 minus 1, that's going to give me a 16 over 52, and if I reduce to lowest terms, that'll be 4 over 13. Okay, so a straightforward um, use of that right there. Okay, now taking a look at rolling dice, this particular example is going to be an example of mutually exclusive. All right, let's say we want the probability of getting uh, rolling the dice and getting less than or equal to 4 or equal to 6. All right, they are mutually exclusive because I can't get a number less than or equal to 4 and equal to 6 at the same time. So they are mutually exclusive. So let's take a look at uh, rolling a dice and getting less than or equal to 4. All right, well, there are 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the dice that could would fit that scenario. So that's 4 out of the 6 sides. All right, and then getting exactly a 6 when rolling a dice, that would be 1, so that would be 1 out of 6. I'm using the mutually exclusive formula, so all I have to do is add those two, and I'm going to get a 5 sixth. All right, so um, definitely two just really straightforward, easy examples dealing with that OR and dealing with the two different types of OR formulas, one being mutually exclusive and the other one not. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, uh, don't forget to share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks.